All right, good morning, good afternoon. What's going on, people as well? Media, we got Mikey here, we got Trev. He's way, 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 way like four miles over there where I filmed my last video. But uh, today we're going to be going through how much it costs to build my 2008 big turbo Nissan 350Z. So stay tuned. So the first thing that I had bought when building this car was my duck lip. So this duck lip is a KBD polyurethane duck lip. It's pretty heavy and that's going to run you about $200. Um, very durable. I definitely recommend getting that. So the next thing that I had bought when doing this 350Z was the quick release, the hub, the quick release itself, and then the actual steering wheel. Uh, that's going to run you about $405. I definitely recommend it. I know some people say that it is dangerous because you have to get rid of your uh, your airbag. And sometimes these do break apparently. I've had no issues. All I do know is you got to avoid spinning it and making it do the ding too much. Because it will actually wear this down. As you see I got a chip right there. But it, it will wear where the bearings go in down. Uh, but I definitely keep an eye out on that if you do buy something like that. Alright, so I know I just said you gotta like not do the ding too much, but like here you guys go, because I know you want to hear it. Let's see. There you go. And my horn works. Alright guys, Trev's over there Sunday fun day right now. Back to the back end, I do have a Street Arrow 350Z non Nismo diffuser. Uh, that's going to run you about $270. Pop that in right there. Yeah, so that's another thing. We're going to do a final count at the end to see how much it actually costs to build this whole entire car and wait to the end to see how much it costs to build the turbo Porsche. On to the side skirts. These side skirts are Vic Res. I don't know the exact style. I know that they are going to cost you about $160, $170. I think that they look really mean, especially they do flow once I do have my front lip on with my front bumper and then they flow all the way back to the Street Arrow rear diffuser, or rear diffuser. I do really like the way that that looks. They match. They look good together. So I definitely think if you are doing that, that is something you should throw onto your Nissan 350Z. So onto my wheels. My wheels are TSW Thruxtons. They do not make these anymore. And yes, these are replica wheels. And those are going to run you about $1,200 varying. They were like $400 each or something like that. I don't know. Do the math. I'll do the math. I'll pop it up here. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's the second or third thing that I had ended up getting for this car. I think they look really good. They sit nice. The rear could use a spacer, but I'm going to get new rear wheels because I'm doing slicks. So stay tuned for that. Mikey can't wait to see that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but that's going to be the third thing. And we're not going to do an order anymore. We're just going to name things off like that. You like that. So on to the next thing that I did get. This was my BIS Racing Style Terminator Hood, something like that. That's going to cost you $1,568, give or take. That's an exact number, so don't give or take. But, uh... I like the way it looks with the wrapped carbon and the exposed fenders because, I don't know, I got the inspiration for fresh kicks, not gonna lie. Big turbo 350Z, you know? Bang, I'm still waiting on that sponsorship. This is like the 45th video in a row with a bang. Come on. The front of the car again. I do have Spec D headlights. I love the way that these look. I know that there's, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen Brooks' car on here. There's different style headlights you can get that resemble that. But I'm gonna show you, let me turn these bad boys on. I love the way that my headlights look. They kind of remind me of a uh, C7 Corvette headlights. Leave down below if you like that. Those are going to run you about $300. On to the suspension. I do have teen lowering springs. Uh, those are going to those are going to run you about 210 if you get them from Z1. I am actually going to get coilovers so that I can fit the slicks in the back. But that would be the next thing. Look at the color. The color's low key popping. So I think that this is called a rear windshield diffuser. Uh, that's gonna that ran me about hundred dollars, I believe, on eBay. I'm not positive on the on the exact price, but I'm gonna take a look at that once uh, once I do edit this video. I'll throw that in somewhere if I can figure out the price on that. Uh, but that's definitely something that I do love about this car, and we're gonna add that in onto the build price. So I actually did find the price on my rear window spoiler. Uh, that's gonna run you about hundred and forty dollars. So the rear window spoiler, $140. Stay tuned on that. I got everything. I got so many things on here. So it's kind of hard to go through, but that was going to run you $140. If you haven't, go down below, comment what you want to see in future videos. Like, because look at my car. Like, mm. comment, subscribe. Tell them. <sighs> Refreshing. So on to the color. This is something I get a lot of questions about. This is gloss, 
Plumma Explosion from 3M. Uh, I did wrap it myself as well as we did wrap Trevor's car and a few other cars. I think it looks amazing. This is my favorite color that you can get on any car. This color looks amazing. We've got the Stradman spec. Shout out Stradman. I'm going to be as famous as him one day. But I love the color. It looks great. I definitely do think uh, if you are wrapping your car, I would go with uh, 3M or they do have KPMF. That's what we wrap my buddy Josh's car in. That's a really good film to wrap with. But if you are wrapping your car, definitely go with 3M. I like Hexus. Hexus is a cheaper brand, but it, it's pretty good. And 3M, KPM. So wrapping your car is gonna cost different amounts. It depends on if you wrap it yourself, if you bring it somewhere to get wrapped. Uh, like I said in the prior clip, we did wrap it ourselves. So it cost me about $850 for the roller wrap. And you can do it for cheaper, like Trev's I think was $500, maybe $600 to wrap. Uh, so that really all does vary because there's plenty of different ways to go about wrapping your car. Uh, if you do it yourself, you're definitely going to cut off a lot of money and you do have something to learn about in the process of that. So low key, if I were you, I'd wrap your own car. On to more suspension. I do have uh, billet aluminum front control arms. Uh, those ran me about $130. Uh, something to keep notice for is do not cheap out on suspension. Suspension is really something that makes your car feel a whole lot better. And cheaping out on suspension, you can break a lower control arm, you can break a coil over. Like, never get max poo-poo rods. I mean, that's, do not get max speeding rods. Those are terrible. So I still do, unfortunately, need to get this interior piece right here. But I do have a 2015 Nissan 370Z transmission, manual transmission from the swap. Uh, that cost me, with the slave cylinder delete, that ran me about... $1,600 for the transmission. I also do have a short throw shifter from Torque Solutions uh, that makes these throws pretty short. I think it is one of the shortest ones that you can get. Uh, that ran me about $120. I do have carbon fiber eyelids off of eBay. Those ran me about $30. I really like the way that they look, especially leaving those exposed with the hood and then the carbon exposed on the hood. I feel like it all just like kind of like flows together. Looks pretty good there. Okay, so before I do give you guys the full price of the turbo kit, I'm going to go over to my injectors. Obviously, you can't really see those. Those are FIC 1200cc injectors. Those are going to run you about $1,000 for the injectors. Uh, you don't want to play around, especially once uh, you're trying to run E85. Speaking of E85, I do have to get a fuel return to run full boost on E85, and that's going to cost roughly $850. I'm definitely purchasing that very soon, uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, so on to the fuel pump. That is another thing that you can't see. Um, the fuel pump is a 450 LPH fuel pump. That's going to run you about a hundred something dollars. Uh, you do got to redo the fuel basket or re-put in the fuel basket. And all of these prices are really going to vary depending on if you take it somewhere or if you do it yourself. Every single thing on this car that you do see, I have done myself. So that that's just a fair warning learn how to do this stuff on your car obviously if you don't have the tools or anything take it somewhere but the prices are going to vary depending on if you do have the tools and the place to do it on to more stuff that you cannot see under the engine uh would be my headers i mean you can might be able to see them Ugh. now you can't really see them those are uh megan racing headers those ran me about 350 dollars. i really do like the way that those sound on past the headers, I do have Burke Racing test pipes, and those Burke Racing test pipes did run me about $250. Uh, they are the non-resonated test pipes, so they are a little bit raspy, uh, but it's nothing that I can't really deal with. So on to the stuff that makes this car go vroom vroom. Um, I do have Z1 intakes. Uh, those are going to run you about $550. I do know that. I ended up getting another intercooler. Uh, for the turbo kit, that's going to run, that give or take, you can do turbo kits a hundred million different ways. You can spend 10000 you can spend 15000 you can spend 4000 I mean, it really depends. I did spend a decent amount of money on this turbo kit, but that's going to run you about $700. I also, I'm going to throw the price into the regular whole entire turbo kit. The regular turbo kit that I do have is an RZG rear mount turbo kit. So I'm going to go to the back. I'm going to show you guys the Turbski get under here oh let's see if we can see that bad boy so that's the turbo it's a straight pipe from my header or from my test pipes all the way back with the 370z y pipe in the rzg remount kit that's a 68 67 comp oilless turbo grand total price for my turbo kit you're going to be paying about 
uh, seven thousand dollars for the whole entire turbo kit and that is give or take i did get this through rzg motorsports uh currently that turbo kit is sold out but as you can see let's see well actually i got it from ricky i got a really good deal so this is ricky's car and this is my exact turbo kit i don't know how well you guys can really see that uh yeah that's my exact turbo kit so you're gonna be paying about let's see it's sold out at the moment seven thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars this car did cost a lot more to build than the price in this video yeah so this did cost a lot more than i do have priced in this video because when i first got this car it had no motor no transmission i've been through two motors because the first one i got i installed it ended up having a crack behind the timing cover on the block i think it was the block something like that uh that really i don't know i got so upset with this build at that point uh, i finally got it running i was so happy i think i was 17 years old at the time uh, unfortunately had to put a new motor in I took the car to get the exhaust put on and that same day my transmission blew up so I ended up getting my automatic transmission rebuilt and then uh, two years down the road I ended up manual swapping it with a 370z transmission um, it's broke a hundred million times I've broke a hundred million things on this car that have costed me thousands and thousands of dollars uh, if I would say though, I definitely do recommend the 350Z for any of the viewers that don't have one. I love this car. It's my favorite driving car in the world. I've drove a select few different amounts of cars. Like I drove the Hellcat. Don't get me wrong, Max. I love the Hellcat. That was fun to drive, but I love this car. It's a raw driving, raw feeling car and it just feels amazing. Time for some POV drives. I know you guys want to see that. That's actually gonna do it for this video guys if you could go down below please like comment and subscribe also go down below comment some things you want to see in the near future me and Trev both have a bunch of plans for our cars within the near future I'm still thinking about new wraps so if you want to see a new color on my car comment down below what you think I should get also comment some questions for a Q&A that me and Trev are gonna do uh, we want to post a video of a Q&A so that you guys can get to know us a little bit better and I do have a bunch of stuff coming for the Z in the very near future. So stay tuned for that. And like I said, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you in the next video. Peace. Big shot, everybody act like they some big talk. Let me show you how you could get picked up. Bad bitch in the back with no ring on. Who is here when I get up, get down. Living like this till my time's gone. And I'm in the infinite time zone. Everybody act like they some. Everybody talk like they some.